Hello, my name is Ralf Peters from the University of Mannheim in Germany, and I'm happy to present our work, the WDCschema.org Table Corpora, that was created together with my co-authors Alexander Brinkmann and Christian Witzer. First, some words about the motivation of our work. Large table corpora are required for training and evaluating methods in research across various fields, like table representation learning or data integration. While several large table corpora exist today and are freely available to researchers, they all exhibit heterogeneous schemata among the tables that they contain. This makes it difficult to combine data across multiple tables, for example, to build benchmark datasets. In our work, we present the schema.org table corpora that fill this gap. They consist of over all 9 million relational tables covering 44 different types of entities like products, businesses and movies, for example. All of these tables further share the same schema to describe the entities they contain. The schema of the tables originates from the schema.org vocabulary, which is used by around 50% of all web pages today to annotate data, which is then used by search engine applications, for example. The starting point of the creation of the corpora is the common crawl, from which we extract the schema.org annotated data, then group the data by host and entity class, which results in one table per host containing all entities of the class. We further remove listing pages and sparse entities, followed by a deduplication step in the end. The final tables are available for download in the JSON line format you can see on the bottom right of the slide. These two tables give an insight into some of the entity classes and their size statistics on the left, as well as the attributes of the tables for the two example classes, product and local business on the right. Note that the tables do not just share the same schema, but further contain identifiers like SKU, MPN or telephone numbers that can be used to directly link entities across tables. Finally, a few words regarding possible use cases of the corpora. Due to the shared schema and available identifiers, it is rather straightforward to build benchmarking data for various tasks. The 2023 corpus further also contains 4 million question-answer pairs that can be used for natural language processing-based tasks. Both corpora are ideal sources of training data and can also be used for the analysis of the adoption of semantic web technologies. Last but not least, the corpora are a source of domain data that can be used to, for example, compile lists of hotels or restaurants, as well as analyze in-demand skills on the job market. You can find the web pages and download links for both corpora using these QR codes here. Thank you for watching, and we hope that our corpora will prove useful for your research.